See? It looks so good. Yeah, I mean, even though I was kind of just not evenly cutting the top, when you kind of no, gel it up and stuff, it. it looks, you know, you can't really notice it. I think it's always important to look good. I want my wife to see a cool, confident, sexy Chris. <laughs> I think attraction is definitely key to a marriage. And although things are going great, we're not in love yet. I can see it turning into love. I think the more we can be open with each other, that attraction can grow even stronger. And then, you know, I feel like that love can grow and get deeper. You know, I definitely always like to make sure I look good for you. I like want to make sure that like I'm improving myself and when my hair gets long and stuff. And I know that, um, you know, you know, I have some body issue, like insecurity stuff, like not quite where I want to be, but I'm working on it. I mean, who is really? So, so I get it. I feel the same way. Like I'm, I'm not really where I want to be, but I always want to look good for you. And I feel like we are doing that together, like eating a little healthier, working out a little more, but I think you look great. So Thank please, you. I, I understand no, no. you want to look good for me, but I want you to do things for you because I am very attracted to you as is. So please don't feel like, you know, you have to do something because you want me to feel a certain way. Yeah, no, I mean, no, for sure. And that, that's, that's the best way, you know, I want you to feel the same. Um, you know, and honestly, I just wanted to let you know, like, I was asked the question, like, of appearance and things like that. Um, you know, one of the things I did say that I wanted to make sure, like, I told you, because I don't want you to, like, see anything later and get upset about it. But, you know, they asked, appearance-wise, I said, beautiful smile, beautiful face, beautiful eyes. But I did say, like, a little, little thicker than I normally go for, but not in a bad way. I mean, on wedding day, I, I definitely, you know, I was very attracted to her. I thought she was very beautiful. Um, but typically, you know, she's, she's a little thicker than I normally go for, but not in a bad way. And for me, like, thick is, like, athletic. You know, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's sexy, you know? And it's like, there was no way trying to upset or anything. I was right. just being honest in the moment. And I know like later on, even like you referred to yourself as a little bit, a little bit thicker, but it's, but very it's different. yeah, no, I know. So I mean, it is a little jarring to hear, you know, your husband say something that could be perceived as somewhat insulting. I do call myself a thicker girl, but- It's different, it, I know. It's very, girls can say whatever they want. It's very different to hear someone else say it. I'm definitely taken aback a little bit. It's not something I expected to hear my husband say that he has said about me. I have full-blown body dysmorphia. It is something I've been dealing with for years. I'm from New York, a large city surrounded by fitness influencers. So naturally, I started to compare myself against all of them. And that's something that I have been working on. So I'm a little shocked. I don't have to hide my roles as we have this conversation with me. Um, I mean, I'm not where I want to be in life, but I'll always be a little thicker. That's just right. born and bred this way. Can't change that. And honestly, like if we go down the road of children in the future, I'll be real thick. It, like your body type is your body type. This is a very uncomfortable conversation. Telling your wife, hey, I made a comment about your weight or body type. So I, I think he's got a lot of balls right now. Um, it's OK for me to call myself thick. And I know no, thick is not a bad thing. But if someone's like, describe your wife, you can say she's strong, she's sexy, she's no, a badass. But please just avoid the thick, because this is something that could potentially be hurtful to me.